I accidentally took a photo of this place instead of a video. So I am a horrible alchemist. Jungle gems. Well, you don't do most of the either. That's true. That's the exit there. We're I just do most now. of the eating. So we are now at Jungle Gym. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, Jungle Gym has a lot of animatronic. This is the cone of corn and butter. This is the welcoming animatronic. And it usually has a thing that says, welcome to Jungle Gym. <laughs> it's been quiet today. Here's also a map of the store. Oh, ah, there it goes. It's better. Oh, yeah. oh, Would you stop singing? Oh, it's yeah. time to get to work. <laughs> Would you stop already? You're getting under my musk. <laughs> you know, I think I'm corn your butter. I think so. <laughs> it's cool place. So I was like, shut up, let's go. <laughs> Probably what we're gonna do here is just make a huge old loop. Because that's what I said. Let's see, where? This is the entrance right here. Yep, so we'll just kind of head around. We're going to ignore American groceries because that's like every grocery store ever, and that's silly. So we'll just go through the olive pit, the delicatessen, and just make a great big loop of the store. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Coming in. With the apple soup aisle, did you know that Jungle Gems has more than 200 different kinds of crackers that taste so good? when they have wonton soup in it. Right? I think they do somewhere. Really? Campbell like, Soup has wonton soup? They do at work. Oh. We work at a grocery store, so... Yeah. Let's check. Here's Campbell's Soup. It's making noise. They have so much gluten though. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, golden mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Golden mushroom, chicken noodle. Tuscan style chicken noodle. There we go. Yeah. Right there, guys. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Oh, look at all those ingredients and there's wheat flour. No, not there. Oh, okay, they've got, they've got chicken gumbo. That's not real gumbo. Gumbo's made with seafood. <laughs> we'll make one sometime for the show. We'll make a gumbo. It'll be great. Gumbo. Gumbo. Jambalaya. These are cool olive oils. Look, they're infused, which means they've, they've got something inside of them. This one here is garlic. Uh, it's just copper pot chicken. That must be the brand. This one's roasted garlic, spicy chili. This one's lemon rosemary. They're on sale for ten dollars. I might have to get one. These are your lovely restrooms at Jungle Gym. Twisting in the pot. No, 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 no. In, in the pot. In the pot. <laughs> this is this is a cheese island. This is a cheese dedicated cheese, cheese island. That's fantastic. Cheese, cheese horse. It's zebra. a cheese zebra. <laughs> Monkeys. Elephant, butterfly. Oh, that's awesome. Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> but it shows up here helpfully, like cheese spreads and snacks, and then it's got a bunch of countries over here. And there should be more somewhere. Cheese beer. There we beer go. Cheese. Beer, beer cheese. Beer cheese. Oh, you're sure of those. That's awesome. Flowers. Tulips. Are they all wild cheddar? These are like all wax wrapped wild cheddar. 
awesome. There's a Swiss and almond. Funny. Funny. It's vernacular. Vernacular. There's a Swiss and almond. That's awesome. That thing's a killer. Oh no, you wouldn't believe me. Money. It's just a harmless bunny. <laughs> Baby bells. Yeah, yes. we have those at work. We do? Yeah. We do actually, yeah. I don't remember seeing them. They're up in my section. The other half of the department that you work in that you don't ever come to. I come to. My husband is technically Sometimes. Allie's boss. Sort of. More or less. Sometimes. <laughs> technically. Yeah, not at your other job. <laughs> at one of her two jobs. There's only so much brain cells that this brain can handle. I don't even know if that came out coherently. <laughs> what, what is what is jalapeno pepperdew? Pepperdew. Pepperdew is a kind of pepper. I know it's spicy. I don't know a whole lot about it though. But it's like, hey, look, spicy and spicy. Take that. If you guys really want to kick, get some habanero. Ghost cheese. Well, the last time I was here, they had a dill cheese that I got here. Yeah. I'll try. It was delicious. Oh gosh, yeah. I want to see if they have the boar's head kind because those are beautiful. Okay. Boar's head. Let's focus. Boar's head. Focus. Focusing is name. Okay, I'm distracted for a second. Okay, boar's head. Boar's head. Boar's head. <laughs> We're getting the wine cheese left. Whoa. I was hoping they'd have sage derby. They do, right there. <laughs> oh, okay, we need that. Blueberry fair. There's a small one. Sage Derby! You know, oh, that's it's, super expensive. This is four and a half dollars. That's four and a half? Wait. Okay, let's go to Morris Head. Uh, cooking school? Tell them about like, the cooking things they have here. Oh, that's right. Unfortunately, we're, we're geeking out because this is my first time ever being at this jungle gym. Which oh, is the it, biggest of the ones that we have. We also have area. to take a picture of the big cheese. This is the big cheese. 822 pounds of cheese. It is apparently 822 pounds of cheese. It is called the big cheese. Oh, and also at the Jungle Gym, they have plenty of sampling sections. Today they are sampling Barber's English Cheddar and Private Label Salami. So presta. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. heads that way. That way, this is the charcuterie. Well, take a look at this. This is the rest of the countries it didn't have. Let's see, green Camaray, France, Spain, Portugal, Switzerland, Comte de Gruyere, Swiss, Norway, Denmark, Belgium, and Holland, Gouda, and Greece. Greece means big tubs of feta. That's my jam, yo. Love feta. She was not kidding when she says big tubs of feta. That's $34, so I don't have that kind of money. It's $34 a pound. What is this? A pound? It's a pound. Oh. What's that? It's green cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese, but you can kill somebody with it. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's $37 per seven pounds, and it's a seven yeah. pound container. Uh, so but we do not need seven pounds of feta cheese. Yes, we do. Or do you? We do. We do not totally. need seven pounds of feta cheese. <laughs> For two people that don't hardly eat feta yeah. cheese very much. That's because we don't have many salads. Feel what you could do with this. You could kill somebody with this cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell where Allie's priorities you can are. You see just by 
It's a hard cheese. Ha! Ah! <laughs> and it's like a mini football. You mean a soccer ball? Because <laughs> we're Americans? We have to find the boar's head place. Boar's head is back that way. Well, let's go back that way. Because on this side, it's the charcuterie, which is just... Preserved meats, if you didn't know. Preserved meats is charcuterie. That's how it's spelled up there on the pig. Yeah, it's spelled up there oh, on the, on the wall. So, sausages, um, hot sausages. This is basically a dried meat section, for lack of a better term. Goat's milk cheeses. Goat's milk cheeses. You know, I've never actually cheese. had goat cheese. You haven't? We should get a cheap one. And by cheap, I mean less than $10. Well, all these flavored ones are less than $10. And they come in a cute little canister. Oh my god. So do you want the spicy one or do you want marinated whatever that is? She wants fresh goat cheese, blueberry vanilla. Those are fantastic. I like, I get the small log and I put it on rice crackers. Oh. But I want the oh. little cute tub. Well, I get, get the, the cute, cute tub. tub. <laughs> we'll go with this one, the herby one. Can't go wrong with herbs. They're adorable. I guess another nice little thing you can get at Jungle Gyms are pamphlets on everything. On everything. Yes. Build your own Wisconsin cheese board. That's it. I've never had goat cheese, but look how soft it is. It's like a little pillow. <laughs> Sleepy bye. <It's> awesome. Nice <laughs> cheap cheeses too. Okay, we got my little kids. Really? Yep. Then blue. I like to taste the socks. That's what you get there. Blue cheese. Honestly, if you're gonna get blue cheese, I would recommend Stilton. It's like super pungent, but it's good. It really is. Parmigiano Romano. Now we are in bluegrass. This is bluegrass. Bluegrass, boar's head. They even have their own pickle section where you can just get pickles Super in barrels perfect. that are a dollar each. One dollar. These here have stuff. So you can see why that an international food store is kind of like a candy shop for foodies. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Because <laughs> we're going to visit the candy section next. Well, and, there's even, and for those of you that like your salsas. There's a salsa bar. I want to talk a minute about Boar's Head though. Well, yeah, I know. We're just going to wait. Oh, yeah. Well, should, Boar's should Head some, is... Ask some people about it. Get their opinions. They're, they're kind of busy. Um, yeah. Boar's Head is one of the few completely gluten-free uh, meat and cheese, like, deli brands. Um, I like going to a Boar's Head deli when I can. You might want to come closer because it's a loud store. Um, I like going to Boar's Head uh, delis when I can because I don't have to ask them to clean off their slicer before they slice my meat because I know it's a pain and it also it's pretty much guaranteed to not make me sick not make me sick that's a good thing and that's always super good super good are we getting some while we're here um, why not <laughs> yeah. they've got the tavern ham they've got the, oh my god that's my jam oh. <laughs> what well, I feel like we can make it an improv to like rap about that. <laughs> yeah, it's literally. <laughs> and, and they have We're free packed the stuff if you don't want to wait. They've got a, they've got an olive bar. Olive bar, but we don't like olives. But they sometimes have feta at the olive bar. No, I don't like no. olives. <laughs> She's making fresh mozzarella. I don't know why, but making cheese seems like a big arts and craft project that I just want to get into. <laughs> we could do that sometime too. What the what? Mozzarella right? roll-ups? It's got pepperoni in it. They are super good. <laughs> Nice. Oregano. Nice. Like, 
like cut it, slice it on bread, taste it so just like beautiful. Of course you're doing this good stuff. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Smoked mozzarella. I take it that's the brine they just put it in the... For the smoke? No, the, 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 the water. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's just like a mixture of salt and water. That keeps the cheese fresh and moist. And also fresh ricotta. Garotta. Italian toast with sun-dried tomatoes. I feel this would taste really good with the goat cheese. It really would, but then I can't eat it. Yeah. Well, there might be stuff in the gluten-free section. Ooh. Yeah, we should look at the hey, gluten-free section. Grab a, grab a thing. One of these? No, the cannoli dip. Oh, okay. We should have brought a folder for all those pamphlets. Because cannolis. Why don't you stick with that? Super sharp American is five ninety nine a pound. Ooh, but it's American. Yeah. She has an issue with American. <laughs> huh? I said my wife has an issue with American. Why do I feel that should be like with that should be read with like Morgan Freeman or James Earl Jones? Please boys? ask about me cheese for about sale. The end of the day. Cheese. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. oh it looks like you might have to take a number cast. Yeah. yeah. Take a number. Go get your number. It'll take a while. Just get your number. I like jellies. I have that. Are you supposed to take a number? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like anybody yeah, took so a number. you should take the last number too. Like not that one. 83 because that's what they should technically be on. <laughs> I guess that's not your number, Cassie. Are you guys taking a walk? Yeah, we're already. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Can I get a uh, pound of the tavern here? What? Pound of the tavern here? London broiled oven roast. That sounds delicious. Oh, Patrick, you want to take a picture of that? Maybe this is a miscellaneous house. Oh, no. One more six five. Oh, that's right. Dang. Oh, so these are, this is a recipe book. Well, I, I don't sell it enough. We'll grab this and look at it. Gluten free recipe book. Yeah. Way to go, Ali. <laughs> I thought we were just going to do a little bit of her ordering and, you know, when she gets it. Yes. Is there a pound? Yes, ma'am. 85. 86. You also have hot dogs down here. Thank you for this. They've got all different kinds of cheeses. They've got fontina, butter tots, butter queso, provolone, Swiss, Lombardi. Isn't that German? So wouldn't that be a butter kais? Yeah, they've been taken care of. Do you want to get a Swiss too? We're not a Swiss cheese. You can tell my favorite cheese is Swiss. But I recommend any of the the Boar's Head cheeses too. They're really good, especially the Havarti. Oh my gosh. My boner has a first name, and it's the only name. Come on. Wait, we're Patrick. Oh. <laughs> There's both, ah. they even have a Bavarian head cheese. Head cheese. I think I should make a song for that now. My baloney has one name, and his name is Carl. Ah. <laughs> <No. laughs> I don't know, if we do a cheese, we could do a, they've got Pontino. But looking up there, Pontina's 10.49 a pound. Where's the cheeses on the left side? Okay. Uh, three pepper toe Oh man. Canadian three year cheddar would be good, but it's also kind of expensive. They've got a natural Swiss, a lacy Swiss. 
Do you guys like Swiss cheese? I know I like it, but I don't want to buy something you guys don't like. Well, you're the one eating it. I mean, I'll be eating it too, but... Get what you Chipotle want. Chipotle Gouda. Get what you want, just don't get a whole lot. Bluegrass honey cured ham. You have ham. only today. I know. But bluegrass honey cured ham is three ninety nine a pound. No, the the one pound tavern would be fine for me. I love the tavern. I know you do. <laughs> we got posins. Woo! <laughs> we love the crew at Jungle Gyms. <laughs> Amazing. That means they have a two-floor cooler, and that means they're awesome. If you Why didn't can't our cooler be like that? That'd be awesome. Because, because we work where we work. Uh. I'm leaving the name out of our company, but we work <laughs> where we work. Yeah. Doesn't mean I can't be envious. It's oh, believe me. Believe store. me. Yes, that's good. Believe me, Allie. Papers are I completely Papers agree. Papers are stacking. They're... Papers are oh, uh, stacker. Yeah, papers. Yes, please. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible person. You guys want to try it? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, this would be awesome as like a string cheese. Gouda is one of my favorite kinds of cheese um, because it's very soft and it's buttery and it's just beautiful. You want to get a picture of her? <laughs> And this Chipotle Gouda is super good too. Which is good because you know we have interaction with the staff because they're super friendly. Let's give a hand <laughs> for the awesome deli in Morgan's forehead. <laughs> it always is. You know, I'm lactose intolerant, but I could eat that entire block just now. Right? Isn't it kind of hungry? Right here. <laughs> That's what I would do. Just like open up the glass. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Take the whole thing. Okay. Take it, Cosser. That's really good. Ooh. <laughs> it's horseradish. Very good. Oh man. Horseradish cheddar cheese. Awesome. I was hoping she didn't like horse rats in our business. <laughs> I'm open to try anything. Thank you. Now that cheese is not just for putting on sandwiches. You know, it goes very well with our roast beef. Uh -huh. One of my favorite recipes with it is like Swiss cheese, black forest ham, put it in a chicken breast and bacon. Ooh, that would be good. No, that one's called Vita and Gouda, mm -hmm. Gouda nachos. Ooh. It's very good also, and meatloaf. I say, you had me at nachos. <laughs> Do all sorts of things with this cheese. You have them. Oh, that's super 